Round 2 of Chess Olympiad 2024 Fabi, Fabi, Fabiano, Fabi, Fabi, golazo! Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm your Grandmaster and we are here. So today the second round concluded with a quite few interesting and exciting games. I was especially impressed by the word number three. The Grandmaster from America, Fabiano Caruana, who faced Grandmaster Tin Jing Zhao from Singapore and you know what? I must tell you, my dear viewers, in my opinion, if Caruana will be at his best in this tournament, the US team is very serious contender for the title. Let's see if Fabi started the Olympiad on his right foot. I highly recommend you to enjoy every single move. So. You know, this game was played only a few hours ago. Fabiano with white pieces. Let's see this game. So e4, e5, knight e3, knight e6, and now bishop to c4. He's going for the Italian opening. And you know, this game should be a very good lesson for all of us about how to play in the Italian opening. So, you know, you just need to learn and improve your skills in development, your knowledge about this opening. Let's see. So, knight f6, of course, the pawn on e4 is under attack. d3 was played. Bishop c5, castle, d6, c3. Until now, we familiar with this position. Castle and h3. a6, of course, as we know that black wants to bring the bishop to a7 and this diagonal very important for him we're playing the move a4 of course also getting some space advantage in the queen side also maybe some options with b4 b5 in some ideas but let's see what is going on here so h6 was played rook e1 another developing a piece and as you can see you know everyone until now should be familiar with this position because also Fabi and also his opponent from Singapore, you know, uh, until now just played with their hands. So rook e8 was played and now b4. Attacking the bishop, of course, and asking black where do you want to put your bishop? So he's going for a7. And as you can see, now knight bd2 was played. You might ask why not to play the move b5, but here a takes b5, and after a takes b5, there is a very strong idea for black. Bishop takes f2 check, king takes f2, rook takes a1, b takes e6, and rook takes b1, and this position, of course, is totally winning for black because black has exchange up, right? So, let's go back. So b5 is not a good move, knight bd2 was played by white bishop e6 and now bishop takes e6 you can see 12 moves and fabi thought zero seconds he just playing with his hands of course he familiar and know how to play here of course another thing that you must understand that his level of preparation in this position are really high okay and this is something that we must think of because if you're playing an opening you really want to know and to be very well prepared. So let's see. Bishop takes e6, rook takes e6, and bishop b2. d5 was played. This was the first moment the black grandmaster from Singapore thought in this game. d5. And it really looks, you know, great because you're just uh, opening the d uh, file for the queen. Another thing that you must think of queen d7, rook d8, right? So you're also opening the center. You're playing in the center. So it's looking really good for black. But now you will see how Fabi is thinking about this move. b5 immediately. Attacking this knight. And also after this knight will go the e5 square maybe will be weak. Let's see what happens. So knight e7 and now e takes d5. Of course, taking the pawn, attacking the rook on 
e6 and now queen takes d5 of course after knight e takes d5 i think just rook takes e5 and we are pawn up right so queen d5 is the only way here to defend the pawn on e5 and now c4 attacking the queen opening the bishop and this pawn on e5 will be weak so black must take the pawn on d3 and now knight takes e5 the queen on d3 is under attack the guy is just going back to f5 and now a very nice move i think in my opinion by fabiano caruana queen f3 you just understand of course that the pawn on f2 is under attack but also is understand that the queen on d1 is weaker piece than the queen on f5 right so maybe let's replace it maybe let's exchange it right so queen f3 is like proposal to exchange the queens let's see if black took it or not he's playing the move rook to d8 attacking the knight on d2 and now fabi is playing the move knight to b3 of course after queen takes f3 probably knight takes f3 of course rook takes c1 just rook takes c1 in this position looks looks great knight g6 knight a5 the pawn on b7 is weak also the c6 square will be maybe weak bishop takes f6 in some ways so not so easy to black to play here and if you're not taking let's say rook d3 i think just rook takes e6 f takes e6 and some bishop d4 move because now the bishop on a7 is under attack and after rook takes b3 bishop takes a7 with bishop b8 knight d4 uh, you know the pawns are weak for black rook e1 maybe interesting position maybe it will come to a draw but not so easy to play overall so knight b3 and now he played the move c6 and here just amazing move and very very you know like strategic move that you must think of and learn how to to bring yourself to the conclusion to play such move so you can stop the video now and think by yourself which move do you want to play here and fabi is thinking like eight minutes in playing the move c5 just amazing move he's just blocking the bishop on a7 and you know just telling you know what i want to play the move knight d4 and you have some troubles here and the rook on e6 cannot move anywhere so for example i just want to show you for example let's say i don't know let's play the move um, rook e8 for example just knight d4 takes and g takes f3 and the rook on a6 is just dropped right so this was a very a good example how knight d4 is just dropping the, the rook on e6 so rook e8 of course was not in the game he played the move c takes b5 and now queen takes b7 that's it the bishop on a7 is bad piece knight d4 is a threat what black can play queen c2 was played and now knight to d4 brilliant move by white queen takes c5 was played after queen takes b2 just knight takes c6 this knight on a e7 is under attack the bishop on a7 and that's it the game is just lost for black so knight d4 was played queen takes c5 knight takes c6 is not afraid from queen takes f2 because just king h1 f takes c6 queen takes c7 rook to d2 was played and now is attacking the bishop on b2 attacking the pawn on g2 with queen g2 checkmate on the board but no ladies and gentlemen we are dealing with one of the best players in the world fabiano caruana queen f7 check king h8 knight g6 check king h7 knight f8 check king h8 and now slowly move quiet move queen to g6 wow just providing a full uh, you know defense for the g2 pawn and now rook takes b2 knight takes e6 attacking the g7 pawn with checkmate threat and the game is just over knight h5 was played of course after queen takes h5 black is putting checkmate on the board but hey no let's see who is winning here queen e8 check king h7 knight g5 what a brilliant check and black just resigned the game and why because after h takes g5 the only move here queen takes h5 check king g8 rook e8 check 
queen f8 and just taking the rook and checkmate very soon with winning position so ladies and gentlemen fabi 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 if fabi will play this style in this tournament you know what us can be very very confident about their options to win the title so if you like this video just press the like button subscribe my channel for more chess content every day i'm uploading two videos now because of the olympiad 2024 see you soon bye bye